What's the time now? It's 5.20. Do I have time to play anything else? Uh, let's do one. Let's do a little bit of chin here and then we'll finish this. Let's play one more. A little bit of this. I'm not going to play the whole entire. Let's maybe play 20 minutes of it and I've got to bounce. I've got to head off to the gym. I'm going to try. Should I try and get a gym session in now and then go sleep and then go work? Or should I do one? Hmm. I'll figure it out. Let's do one more chin. And then we'll figure and then we'll continue. This one's called My First Catch and Cook. Just arrived at Cape Town. It's a scholar. And then I'm gonna walk in there. That's where we're going, tow bag. There's my brother. Oh, there's the okay, there's the brother. There's the brother. We saw the brother. So that is the brother. The one we saw in the fucking pictures, brother, is his brother. That's him. That's definitely the brother then. We saw the brother. That's the fucking brother. Okay, cool. Literally the same face. He kind of looks like Psy, innit? No? Doesn't Chin's brother kind of look like that Psy guy? Is it Psy? The South Korean dude? Psy? Gang, yeah, the Gangnam style guy. Or am I, or, or am I being racist there? Doesn't he kind of look like him? Maybe it's the glasses and the haircut. And the face. No? Does he kind of look at him a little bit? Tiny? Or am I, bug or am I, or am I being racist? What do you think? Let me know in the stream chat. What do you think? Am I being racist or does Chin Brother look like that guy? Let's see. There's my brother. What do you think? Chin's brother, Gangnam style guy. What do you think? What's the verdict in the stream chat? Race? Oh, ex but extremely racist. Both. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fair. Dark seed of extremely racist. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Booth McGee, they all. No, I'm not doing the poll. No way am I doing the poll. I'm not having evidence of my racism. In the poll available there. No, no, no evidence of my racism available. None. I don't want fucking hard evidence <laughs> of me comparing fucking Asian people faces or like skull sizes and stuff. We're not going to start doing that. No way. No way we're doing race science. We're not doing race science on my stream. No way. <laughs> Corn cheese, chicken wings, brother, little cousin. This is radish that goes great with these chicken wings. Great stuff. There's all these, they're in this amazing restaurant. Loads of people buzzing around, loads of voices, probably a ton of slaws, right? Probably wall to wall full of fucking whores in that space. And he's just sitting there with his SLR recording his fucking eating fucking radish and shit. It's like, put the camera down and go chop some fucking bartenders, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Where are all these people, by the way? Chin had a very active social life. Where are all these people gone? Did they move away or something? Or did they die during COVID? Like, what happened? Where are all these people? Chin has a really cool group of social, a, a real big social circle here. Loads of fun, loads of smiles. Everyone's happy. Where's everybody? Where do they all go? With your face on it. You know what? The art? Oh, that's before circle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all right, actually. If Asad even said it, they, they all got married. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they all started families. Chin's the only one left. Because that, that looked like a good social group, man. Like I felt kind of bad for him. I'm not going to lie. What the fuck happened? Alright. Six in the morning. That's the thing. I used to... You guys are all saying the same thing. I used to be that guy in my group that always had a camera. And I look back at it now and I love it because all the pictures are amazing of all my friends when we were growing up and stuff. Like, you know, when I was like, I don't know, 19, 18 and shit. But I have to admit, like, I could remember there were times when people would be a bit annoyed when I'd always pull out my camera 
you know, when I was I was taking the pictures. So I can only, and that was taking pictures. I wasn't recording videos. So I can only imagine what it must be like when you've got a friend that's always vlogging. It must be so infuriating. You're just hanging out, just chilling, catching up, wanting to chat shit with your friends. And here comes your other friend vlogging with the fucking, you know, with a tripod in their hand and a fucking ring light. It's just like, oh, come on, man. I just had a long night with my my family, my cousins, my cousin Ungi, my brother, my cousin Gina, uh, Ungi's girlfriend. It was a long night, and it's six in the morning now, and I'm going fishing. Wow. Oh. I'm just like on the edge of making it. The boat leaves at 7.30, and it is 7... 7.22 right now. Wish me luck. And speeding in the... In, in the in and I'm the, never late. I don't get freeze. late. I'm not someone who's late. Damn it. And as you can see, I freaking made it on the boat. Barely. Oh, such a stressful moment. So we're here now. Where are all these friends? And there's the rest of the you got so crowd. many friends here. What happened to all these people? How many people think are on this boat already? There's the other guy now I haven't seen before. What? But they said 90-ish if, if it was full. Oh, okay. There's the rest. All right. Thank God. We're here. We're going to fish. <laughs> this actually looks like a nicer version of uh, our harbor. Yeah. Airport, right? I feel like you can just like cruise around here and walk around and just throw a line in. Yeah. And it looks way more calm. At least the water looks calm right now. Let's take a look around this boat. See all the goodies. Hi. Everyone there, look at all the guys there that are into fishing. Look at all the dudes that are into fishing. Look at them. They're all standing there. Some are wearing their binoculars, looking out into the ocean. Some are just standing and just centering themselves in the situation, you know? Being present. All these guys just being present. And here comes Chin with his fucking SLR. They're all just chilling, no phone in hand. They're all just relaxing. Fishermen. Getting, in, getting into their fucking zone. And Chin is in with his fucking camera. <laughs> They're looking at him like, what the fuck is this going on? He's got his camera. He's got like 20 grand's worth of equipment in his backpack. <sighs> Copy those guys, Chin. Put your fucking phone down. Put your camera down. Like. Look. No one's got their phone out. Can you see this? Look at all these guys. Look. They're all checking their stuff. They're standing, they're talking. No one's got their phones. Chin's the only person with a full fucking SLR rig in his hand, vlogging. We need to get gunny sacks too. Get what? We need to get one He's the only person. Oh yeah, I think it's Wait, the only on. part. That is There's ours, because I have oh, yeah, yeah. 26, okay, yeah, 27, yeah. right? That's yours, 26? That's Eric's. That's mine. 27. They have blurs. Yeah. Swim baits. Huh. That's interesting though. Like there are a bunch of them have right. swim baits. And look at the colors. Same colors too. Reddish. Uh, Is that alright? Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna have a line on there, man. <laughs> oh, shit. 250 feet. I do have extra lines, so I can probably put oh, a line on there real quick. Yeah. Cool. I'll Grab do it. Yeah. Not live bait, but they had to cut the squid. I'm gonna try it my own way. I'm gonna try it like this. We may have to reposition it. Damn it! So, my, my reel broke. broke. You see that? You need one of these to reel in your fishing pole. And mine broke. There's the other part. See that? It's not supposed to look like this. That's not good. That is bad. But, um, $10 to rent a rod, so someone can rent I have the worst luck in the world. I just, it's not meant to be for me, man. It's just not meant to be.
Watch out for the backpack, jerk. No. Just tell him your bag number. What is our bag Can you number? stop dripping on my bag? <laughs> barely hooked him, too. Dude, look at... Barely got him. Yeah, chin hating. Chin hating. Chin big hating. Lay your fish, Chin. Lay your fish. Big hating. Oh, nice, dude. Barely got him. Dude, just put on a crap load of bait. Chin carrot. My arm is giving out. Oh, yeah. You see it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Lift this up. Oh, it's just stuck on someone. Oh, oh sorry about that. <laughs> it's on my hook, yeah. But it's stuck to someone else. Chin can't even reel it in. Chin, chin has to get another man to reel in his fish for him. That's embarrassing, isn't it? This sucker big enough? It's good, whatever. Uh, 27? 20, yeah. yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes! Just to close off the night, the day. Yes! Woohoo! Oh, yes. One more. Nice, bro. Is she big enough? Yeah. Here, ladies, grab that for you. <laughs> thank you. Is that big enough? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Yo, big up horror movie Mutt Hustle. Watches Casey Neistat once. <laughs> exactly. The, at least Casey Neistat, he cuts it, edits it aggressively. Usually under 15 minutes or something. This is just so much filler. Like, it's like 33 minutes long. I'm not watching the whole fucking thing. 33 minutes long of this shit. What's he doing? Okay. Big up uh, horror movie Hustle. Appreciate it, brother. Oh, well. your rod. Thank you, man. How much you catch? Five fish. Do you really? Yeah. Oh no, I recognize him. He's from another. He's from a barbecue. He's not barbecue. He's from a camping trip, right? He looks a bit different now, but I recognize this guy. So this is an old friend. How much you keep? Three. What happened? I don't know. Oh, they're weighing. Oh, they're doing the. Are they doing the shark? Because I mean, that's gonna win everything. Yeah. No, I don't think it's gonna count. Wow. Sculpin, no, Sculpin. That one? No. I don't look that big. No, I can see you can put the fish in the bag. Oh, really? Is that the one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Game Brief, that's the one. <laughs> he refused to eat the catfish. <laughs> okay, cool. He's the one that got his cheeks clapped in the tent, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> But look at all these guys, though. Don't you think this is quite what fishing should be about? All these older dudes who are just like in the moment, doing older dude dad shit, you know, fighting over fucking fish, you know, haggling each other for money and shit, probably doing a little bit of side gambling bets and stuff going on. You know, that's what it should be at, like. What? Stuff. Does, he, does he need to include all of this? Can't he just cut it quicker and clip the, some of this out and chop it up a little bit better? Like, why does he have to include this whole vid, this whole clip into the edit? You guys together <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> one more time they love that question didn't it they? they fucking love that one Please. you guys together yeah, yeah. yeah. 
sure. I don't care. Yeah. Putting them up right now. Sand dab and sculpins. That's all I want. I don't want. I don't want no more. Nope. All right, that's good. Can you imagine what Chin apartment must smell like? Can you imagine what Chin's apartment must smell like? He doesn't really prep his food well. He doesn't cook it well. Probably doesn't store it well. Can you imagine what he's what he's flat? What his apartment must fucking smell like? God damn! I'm sure he hires a cleaner, but oh. Yeah. Time to cook. All right. First of all, I know I look super ridiculous with this camera on my yeah, head. Yeah, you do. You do. With a hat, but. This is my first catch and cook, and I'm super excited about it. Free cam he's got free cameras to cook a dish that doesn't probably gonna look edible. Why do you need so many cat like <sighs> this is where this guy's kind of redacted, and also this cooking on the cutting board thing is so annoying to me. So I want to make sure I get all the different angles. I'm not talking about cutting. He probably he usually cooks on this. He will bat. He will start battering on here as well. Like weird. And just so you can see everything I'm doing. All right. So let's start off with the fish that I caught. Yes. Bam. This right here. Ooh, this is actually kind of freaky. This is a sculpin. You see that? What's freaky about it? So fish. That there is a sculpin fish. Uh, some people call it scorpion fish. So I'm going to try this a few different ways. This is a sand dab that the charter actually just gave to us because I guess no one wanted to keep it. And I'm going to save that for next time. I want to just try out the scorpion fish for today. Here's another one. I think I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to try to bake one. Bake one of these guys, and then I'm also gonna try to pan fry one of these guys. Jesus. And one I'll have with, actually no, this is what I'm gonna do. I also have scorpion fish slash sculpin fillets that they gave us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these guys in panko crust. Of course you are. And I'll show you that in a second. Oh man, this smells so fishy. So incredibly fishy. Let me get a bag. Oi. He's a fucking mess in there. He's a fucking mess. So this guy's going back into the freezer. Sitting on some ice. And. <coughs> All right. Let's actually look at my phone to see how this looks on camera, on my head. Yeah, let's not let's and not says, let's let's not focus on the cooking. Let's not focus on getting the right ingredients. Let's not focus on the right recipe. Let's obviously focus on the most important thing: the angle of the fish as I'm cooking it. Cool. Join the Wi-Fi network. Hurry up. There you go. See it. How cool is that? So I'm gonna turn my head over here and you'll see the fish, all right? All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, cool. We're good to go. You know what? I need to turn this damn thing on because the smell of fish cooking is pretty hardcore and we don't want that in this place, especially since I barely moved in and the last thing I wanna do is have a really fishy smell here. Okay, so let's bake this. Yeah, could you hurry up, please? Uh, I'll bake the bigger one because... I've always wondered that too myself, King Bayo. Why doesn't he ever follow a recipe? I don't know. I think he thinks he can cook in his head, but he obviously can't. So I, I'm, I'm really confused why he doesn't follow a recipe either. Of course he didn't wash it, Z. Of course. This is Chin Tzu you were talking about. There's so... He, be he believes in that whole thing of like, oh, I'm not going to wash it. 
if I just put it into the oven at a certain temperature, it's going to get rid of all the... Okay, cool. You carry on doing that. So much meat on here. I think uh, it's not going to fry that evenly or that well. So I'll wrap this here with like some butter, lemon, some seasoning. Of course, but, uh, and I'll score it as well. This is a Rapala flay knife that I got on Amazon. Of course you did. It's actually really sharp. They give you a little sharpener with it. Uh, I'd rather have those stone sharpeners because they're better, but I'll take what I can get. So I'll first start by scoring it like this. Down the sides. All right, that's one side. <laughs> right behind this Oh, excruciating nonsense details of this. Score it up. God almighty, bro. That's a, that's a deep score. That's a deep scoring. It's just like a little slice, isn't it? You must have cut through the hands. entire thing. As you know, aluminum foil, you can like put in the middle and it heats all sort of evenly around it, especially when you bake it. And I bought a couple of fresh lemons earlier today. So all I need is just one. And what I want to do with the lemon is just, let's move this to the side for a second. Just smash it down like that and roll it around. <laughs> what is this shit, man? Hopefully this freaking fan isn't too loud. It is loud, It sounds bro. super loud. It's super loud. So roll the lemon around and I'm gonna wash it real quick. <laughs> and then we'll just cut this guy. Slices. And then butter. I'm using a brand called Kerrygold and it's unsalted. I like to add my own salt so I don't like uh, anything pre salted. Let's do a few slices here. And what I want to do is add these slices into the, uh, the scores I made in the fish. Nothing too crazy. Something like that. I mean, I don't think this makes it that, that much of a big deal. As long as you add butter to the fish, you're good to go. But I like to add these scores and then add the butter into it because for me, if I don't know why, it just makes me feel like it's going to be more buttery and delicious. So, behind the fin. And watch out for these spines. They're super, super sharp. And if they stick you, you're going to be in pain for a little while. All right. These lemon slices that I just made, put them inside the fish. Jesus, like that. God. And see, some of the score, uh, some of the butter comes out. Who cares? Just drop them back in. Add this to this. Let's move this over here. So it's back into the foil. I hope you guys can see here from that camera. Yeah, we can definitely see, bro. We can definitely see. Put it like that. Fuck it's you good know, to go, and this is when I start fish. seasoning. So wait, see, came out of the score, no big deal. Slap this guy in here. Um, I'm gonna season this guy with salt and pepper. You can see I got a few salts. I got pink salt and sea salt. Great. I also got some black pepper. So let's do this. Pepper first. Got some sea salt. <laughs> oh, he's a funny guy, man. He can't be real. This guy just can't be real. Not too much. Flip it over a little bit. Pepper. Sea salt. And then, just a quick sprinkle of pink salt. Turn that over again. Oops. And after that, just a good squeeze of lemon all over it on both sides. 
So that's all I use for fish, really. Lemon, pepper, butter. How much salt did he put on that thing? How much salt did he put on that thing? Sea salt, pink salt, like fucking hell. And salt. We're gonna go ahead and bake this guy up. Just cover up the foil like that. <laughs> you massacred this fish, man. Massacred it. You know what? I wanna add another layer of foil. Of course you do. Just to lock it in, seal it in. Tripping it around. And, and then slop it into the oven. I'm gonna let this guy sit at um, 375 degrees and let it bake slowly. So bake right there, 375. Let it do its thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these guys, the fillets, in panko crust, and then I'm gonna fry this guy up totally. Like just with like uh, maybe half an inch of canola slash olive oil. So it fries up nice. And let's I'll see. Score let's this see how. Well. Let's see. Let's see how he batters this because if he batters this in the cut on the cutting board, I'm gonna be angry. Let's see how he bat. Let's see how he batters this. I just like scoring fish. I don't know why. I feel like it. It just cooks more evenly that way. What? And you can really feel the spines on this thing. Don't you score fish to make sure the fucking seasoning gets in it? Is that what you like? What? Dang, it is. Man, these guys are well protected. All right, some skin there. I'm gonna leave that skin on. I love skin, so we're at our pan. <laughs> Pause on that one, bro. Pause. And I'm turning the vents on right now. I'm turning the light on. Um, let's turn this on to about five. And all these, all these camera angles. Look at that camera angle. Look at that fucking camera angle. Look how much of his hand covers the fucking perspective of him. Like, Jesus. Wow. I'm going to fill this guy up pretty high. That's a good, that's a good level right there. I'll let that warm up. And I'm going to do the same thing, right? Let's just put, add little butter slices into the scores Jesus, little butter everything i'm watching online says that these are very tasty fish butter, so i can't wait to try little, it for the first time they look very thick bro. and try them two different ways three different ways panko crust deep fried and then baked let's get this guy ready grab this little bowl some eggs put this guy away I got two eggs left, so that'll work. One, two, and these are tiny. Oh, look at that. A little double there. I have a whisk. I've never used this. I'm gonna use it right now. So this is the crust I bought. I'm not sure if it's good or not. It's called that. Let's try it out. All he right. must make everything so hard, bro. Why does he must make everything so hard? He couldn't be open the fucking bag. Let's try this. Let it dab in there real quick. I'll put the panko crust in here. Oh, I'm only two small fillets, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. Let's do this. Stab it a little bit, and then dunk it in here. Give it a quick wash. Dunk it in here. With the skin, I love skin, so. That's pretty good. All right. God almighty, bro. Hope this tastes, hope this food Tastes better than what it looks because right now it looks rancid. Let's sit. Dunk this guy. Dunk it back in here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I 
All right, let's dump this guy in here now. Definitely not hot enough. <laughs> he can't even preheat a, a fucking frying pan to a good enough temperature to fucking fry his little chicken. Cut. I don't know. This you is so useless, bro. Oh, let's go. Let's go high. I can't believe I forgot one of the most important ingredients as my microphone wire gets caught there. Garlic. All right. Definitely don't need that much, so I'll break off a few. I apologize. This is so messy. But, uh, so for garlic, just smash. Peel off the skin. I love the skin. And you know what? I honestly don't mind some of the skin of the garlic on there either. Of course you don't mind. I mean, if you cook shit up, especially in butter, the temperature. It's fucking weird though. Big up. LB. This guy is culinary illiterate. Yeah, he's culinary redacted, probably more so, man. He's like, I can't believe this. Sh like, I don't know what's going on here. But big up you, um, Elmi. Big up you. Sure, breaks down everything and it just. I don't know, it adds extra texture. That's good to go, you're fine. All right, well you can see that the fish is already cooking really nicely. That is super crispy. That's extra butter, I'm gonna spread around. Throw this extra on there. Okay. cloves just chopped up a little bit and these are older these are not as fresh as I would like them to be but you know what it's all good it's just garlic bro so what I'm gonna do is add this to that have you ever seen this before have you ever, have you ever seen this what's he doing what is it? What is he doing right here? He's frying these bits of fish that he put in batter and breadcrumbs in a frying pan with butter in it. And now he's also, what is he trying to like? But why is he doing it together? <laughs> Stir fry. <laughs> why is he doing it together? Because somebody. Ugh. That's going to make the flavor of the butter and the oil just that much better. I mean, that guy, that guy should be good to go. Turn this guy around. I mean, that's a little early flip, but damn. All right, this guy's good to go. You see here, I'm gonna add a little towel, paper towel. Pop this guy in here. I don't know. This is garlic is garlic. But look at that guy right now. That guy looks good. I'm going to use all this sauce for the fish that I'm going to fry up right after. So all the juices, all the, the garlic getting nice and browned up and cooked up. All that, all that flavor is getting locked in there. <laughs> you need to get locked up, mate. Talk about locking flavors. You need to get fucking locked up. You need to get locked up. And of course, I'm going to add some lemons. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is he making it up along the way? What is this? He's frying fish cutlets in a frying pan. But then he's also adding garlic that hasn't been diced correctly into the same frying pan and then adding lemon. Slices. Turn down the heat just a tad. Just a five. <laughs> Super jello. It's too late. You can't say that to me. I'm going to cry. I grew up on fried citrus. <laughs> oh, you can't do that to me. It's too late. You can't do that to me. Oh my god, I grew up on fried citrus. <laughs> oh look, it looks like a face. Guys, it looks like a face, doesn't it? it? Looks like a face. Look. It's a face. 
the eyes, the nose, the smile. Look, it's a face. It's a fucking face. <laughs> it's like, help me. Help me. <laughs> Uh, of course, I'm gonna add to <laughs> lemon slices. Of course. Oh my god, bro, chin is fucking redacted. Throw some lemon on this guy. More lemon on that guy, all right? Look at that. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Ooh, look at that. So this is the, one of the first fillets that I panko crusted. Check Filets. this out. I hope you can see it there. Maybe you can see it better here, but this is... Is it focusing on yet? Don't Damn look it. good. Bro. That is super white, delicious, and flaky. Can't wait to try it. You know, Chin, isn't it? White is right. Yeah, white is right, isn't it, Chin? White is right. That's what my boy Chin is saying. That white is right. You know what? This is not fully crisped up, but I want to see what it tastes like right now. When it's not fully crisped up. Not raw, but not not too cooked. Not overly cooked. So let me How long have you had that in that frying pan? Look how black everything is underneath and it still hasn't been cooked yet. Maybe add more oil in it. I don't know. Look how black that frying pan is and it hasn't been, it's not, it's still undercooked. How much longer do you need? An hour? Try that too. Oh, Ooh, that looks really look good. Bad and is. now, turn the heat down. Why do you keep saying things look good when they look horrible? They look like he's dog shit out or something. I'm gonna add the whole fish in there. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Bam. Add all that. I got a lot of cleaning to do later. A lot. Ooh, that's looking good. What is going on here? I really do hope it tastes better than what it looks like. I really do hope so. Great camera angle, right? Stay at your back. Great camera angle. All right. We got a few things happening here. First of all, the presentation is horrific. I Thank apologize. God. Thank God he said uh, that. Second Thank of all, I apologize for this ridiculous thing on my head. It's a camera that I wanted to put on my hat just to show you guys like a POV perspective of how I cooked it and how I made this stuff. But of course, it looks ridiculous. Anyways, let's try this shit out. So this is a Sculpin. This is a sculpin fish that we caught today. Me and my buddy Eric we went to Marina Del Rey Charters. Uh -huh. It's called Marina, Marina Del Rey Charter Sport Fishing, I think it's called. Uh, we went there and then they were like, all right, we got sculpins and we have sand dabs. So we were lucky enough to catch a couple sculpin. I caught two. Uh, I could only keep one because for whatever reason, the other one was too small, even though it was bigger than... What is that? Oh, I, I don't even the know other He forgot about the one he baked. He forgot about it. Did it cancel? Right, there we go. So once again, this is a sculpin <laughs> fish. That... He's just sitting there while his food's getting cold. He's just rabbiting on and on and on and on and on and on. Fuck it up. We caught at Marina Del Rey sport fishing. So I have another baked sculpin in there too that I'm going to pull out right now. gonna be hot so ow gotta be careful let me use this thing hot 
All right. Let's take a look, see. Oh, and I mentioned, right? I'm drinking Sculpin beer. I mean, it matches. I ran out of the grapefruit Sculpin. I ran out of the grapefruit Sculpin, which I really like a lot. So this is just a regular Sculpin. Had you taken a bite of the food yet? Or am I missing something? Had you taken a bite of the food yet? Or am I missing something? Has he taken a single bite of the food yet? Or is he telling us, telling us about some beer? Ooh, so hot. And it is leaking. The juices are leaking. Okay. Let me get some towels. Paper towels. Finally. I promise it'll get better from here. It's my first time doing this. Hot. Oh, that looks freaking good. Can you see that? Can you see that? It looks horrendous. That camera can catch it. You see it? All right, yeah. check this out. I saw it. I fucking saw it. How amazing does that look? Oh my god, that is rancid. That looks like pure shit. What the? I, d I don't even know what all these bits are here. I don't know what this is. That's a. I don't know what's going on here. It's rotten. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't look that good, though, to be fair. It doesn't, doesn't look edible. Mm mm mm. And then that's the deep fried. Jesus Christ. Sculpin? I know the presentation is horrible, but there was. Jesus Christ, bro. Look at burn. Look at the different. They're all different colors. They've been deep fried, but all different colors. <laughs> With me. That's a pink crusted Sculpin. And that's a Sculpin beer. And these are the cameras that are catching this all. That all one right, beer is room temperature. <sighs> The Moment of truth. Temperature. First of all, let's enjoy a little bit of this. <sighs> Baked sculpin. Let's try this. Let's get a good piece right there. <laughs> wow, I've never had sculpin in my life. And this is really good. And I just barely seasoned it. You can see I use lemon, butter, salt, and pepper. And then I cooked it with um, sauteed garlic, garlic cloves. But damn, this is so fresh tasting, so like, it has a very unique taste. It's like its own fish taste. It's a, uh, but it doesn't taste fishy. Brilliant analysis, mate. Brilliant analysis. And it's tender. Okay. Um, actually, so it's tender, but it has like a, it has texture. It has like a decent texture to it. So it's not super firm, but when you bite into it, it's kind of firm. But then as you chew, it's super tender. So Okay, so what is it? Tender fish. or firm? All right. Man, look at all this moisture. Let's try the deep fried. Jesus Christ. Moisture, okay. It's not just oil. I will say this, though. There's a lot of bones in this. A lot more bones than I thought. A lot more bones than I imagined. I think one's caught my throat right now, too which kind of sucks. Let's keep on eating though, no problem. No water or beverages in sight. I'm chewing on the bone right now. This actually tastes better, the deep fried one. 
<laughs> Booth McGee chin needs to get laid, bro. He's screaming for help in these videos. Yeah, we all know, man. This is a car crash. This is literally a car crash. You can see it. He's, he's literally, like you said, screaming from top of a building, from the top of a fucking mountain. He is screeching for some companionship. Because this is just. It doesn't even have to be romantic. Just somebody just to like be like, "Ugh, what's that?" You know, <laughs> that's all. Yeah. I would say if you cook this fish, you can't go wrong baking it. But damn, the deep fry thing, for whatever reason, it makes the texture even better. It tastes. Uh, I think there's more flavor when you when you deep fry it. Yeah, I prefer it that way better. And it's really good. This is, this is a really good fish. I'm surprised. And now let's try the panko crusted one. How long has it taken to, to, I don't know. I should have put these damn things Shut in Shut up focus and on. stuff it in your app. See if that helps or works. God almighty, bro. You can't focus on that though, can you? All right, let's try this. Holy moly. All right, hands down, if you're gonna make this fish, panko crust, number one, deep fried, number two, baked, number three, but you can't go wrong either way. This is a freaking really good fish. I'm super surprised. My favorite fish in the world is trout, and this is like almost uh, probably my top two, top three fish. Halibut is also my other favorite fish, but I like it um, raw, sashimi style. But damn, this is good. Damn. Dude, you have to try this. No, thank you. I don't have to try anything that you fucking make. That looks fucking got awful. That looks dog fucking awful. <sighs> What's up, Dallas? Look at you guys. I'm not used to this Dallas is a little different. There's some ladies in the crowd tonight. I'm not used to that. My demo, 18 to 36 brothers, it's a real... <laughs> it's a real cock fest usually at these things. <laughs> Look at you guys. <sighs> Big up Wingus. McDingus, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. But... Yeah, I'm done, man. I gotta go. This is too fucking awful. This is made me want. This would me want to throw up. Um, all of that, all of those cameras and tripods and Bluetooth this, wireless this, and this is what you're cooking. What's the point of having all that gear when you can't fucking make anything that's actually edible? Like, yeah, I'm not for it. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? <sighs> I'm not even someone that likes to order in much, you know. I don't like to order food much, but if I've made food level of chin does, if I could if I cook like chin, I just order in all the time. Honestly. I I don't even advocate for that because I think it's a waste of money. But if you cook like that, just you better off just buying it online and get it delivered to you. 